All right, I really appreciate it. Uh, let me get your phone number real quick so uh, I can contact you if I need to, all right? So hang on here a second. Let me uh, jot your number down, all right? Because I'm actually walking through Home Depot right now and uh, I won't be back home and in front of my computer for a minute. All right. Okay, what is it? All right. Okay, two passengers. All right, the date. All right. Okay, I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you very soon. <laughs> All righty then. Thank you much. Bye-bye. Hello, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by the old wolf den one more time. I want to go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I want to go fishing Try and cast my blues away The uh, problem that I have that you just saw was, you know, I'm walking around, I'm going to the store, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I get a customer calling. Well, in that video that you just saw, I'm walking through Home Depot. The phone rings. You know, I guess everybody in business pretty much will go through this one way or another. And even if you're not, if you're just kind of an EDC, everyday carry kind of guy. The sheer fact is that I have to have a writing utensil and something to write on with me 24 seven. Because if I don't, then I might be missing business. I wanted to kind of show in that little clip there in the beginning, how easy it was for me at that moment, walking through you know, Home Depot, to get somebody's name, their number, and everything, get their details. Remember this from my last video? My key pal. I wear this on my belt because, as I said in that video, I don't like having keys and stuff jingling around in my pocket. It's one of my pet peeves. And these things are cheap and just so valuable for me. To put on my belt and then my keys are I squeeze this and the keys come right off when it's on my belt okay what you probably didn't notice in that little clip in the beginning was I reached back and grabbed my newest EDC item and that's it right there it's got a ring on it I pulled it off I opened it up and then I had a pen, a brass, completely environment proof pen. And that in there, that refill inside there is a Fisher space pen. You may not know what a Fisher Space Pen is, but if you remember the old Seinfeld episode of Jerry kind of fascinated with his parents' neighbor who had a pen that wrote upside down. And a guy gave him the Fisher Space Pen that writes upside down, and writes in water and everything. But that's what's inside here. This is a brass pen, and then it's got what I really liked is it has heavy duty threads to screw back together. And then you got something to fight, you know, ninjas and zombies off with.
when you got this. And the whole deal goes with me everywhere. Right on my clip, right with my keys. I always will have it. And let's take another look at it. Because guess what? It is totally weatherproof. There you go. Throw it in that little container of water. Okay, let's let that sit in there for a minute. So here it is in the package. Try to keep the glare off of it. Let me move the light here a little bit. This is the keychain pen, everyday carry, and it's made proudly in the United States by PocketTools.com. PocketTools.com, high quality, precision made pen that's always with you, always ready, always writes. There's a aluminum, a brass, and a copper. And this pen contains a Fisher Space Pen refills. TTPocketTools.com also sells the refills. And how this all happened was I used to carry a little notepad with a pencil. Of course, I'd reach for it and the pencil tip would be broke off. I found TT Pocket Tools here, ttpockettools.com, or just Pocket Tools, on a search. And I searched keychain pens, and up comes this site where they have all different types of pens and other, like, pocket, pocket uh, tools. And I got with them. And they have donated this for me to give away. Isn't that wonderful? And I am even going to add a little to it. So you're going to be able to win one. This is a really quality implement. All right. Let's, let me show you how quality. Here it is. I'm going to pull it out of the container here. Let's get a little paper towel and just wipe all this off. Open it right up. And then I also had in my hand in that first little clip a little spiral bound note notepad that I keep in my back pocket from now on. But there's a big but. This all weather notebook off of Amazon, it's not that good. I water tested it. I'm not going to do it again because it kind of ruins it, it seems to me. I dipped it just in water. And the pages just with just pretty much would just pull off and fall right out of this thing. And the ink smudged when it got wet. So this isn't a super name brand here. I mean, this is, what's the brand of this? Mail Den. Must be some kind of Chinese brand. They got... The, over there, the Chinese got such screwed up names. Remember that black braided line? That was actually really good line. But what was it called? The braided fishing line that I did the review of? God line? God line? Really? I got another one of these uh, videos coming up from a Chinese manufacturer, and we're gonna, we're gonna be going over a spinning reel on my next review. All right, that they've donated to the channel to have reviewed. And I'm going to give it the once over out on the boat one day here, hopefully soon. But this all weather notebook, it's really a cheap notebook. It's not really great. The real name brands, the number one brand made in the United States, I believe, is called Right in the Rain. This isn't the same quality as a right in the rain. And you'll see on YouTube, there's plenty of right in the rain notebooks. Here I'm going to write down on there. Right. Let me do it this way. In the rain. 
So, there you go. And I'm going to show you right now, just with this single page, how this notebook isn't that great. So let's just dip that down in there kind of quick. Let's say this fell out of my pocket while I was on the boat. Okay. First thing I noticed, right up here, the water gets right into the holes. And then look at this. I'm barely pulling on it, folks. Look at that. And I noticed... Look at the ink. It's smudging. I've seen plenty of reviews of the Write in the Rain notebooks, and they don't do this. So I'm going to get some. Look at that. It just practically falls right off. This pen, there's water all over there. Right. Right. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I put right in the rain. I meant right in the rain. <laughs> okay, this is about the third time I've filmed this because I'm trying to get it right. But this isn't very this isn't a very good notebook. I'm going to be replacing them. When we have this contest and you're gonna be able to win this. Proudly made in the United States, beautiful uh, brass EDC pen. As you saw, I just pulled it out of the water. There's nothing wrong with it. There's just a lot wrong with the paper. A, ro a lot wrong with the paper. So, I'm going to throw in one of these notepads just so you have it. I thought these might be quality. They aren't. So I gave them a scathing review on Amazon. And I will be purchasing a lot better ones, and you can too. But here's at least going to be a starter kit for you. That kind of follows up with my EDC uh, videos that I've been doing. I mean, look at that. This is total not as quality. I had a notebook years ago that I used up that was really super primo quality. So I'm going to throw one of these in because I got a bunch of them. And uh, you're going to be able to win one of these beautiful pens, EDC pen, is we're going to keep this real simple. I'm going to put my email address right here. Not that it isn't in the video description of every video, one way or another. You can go to my website. I'll put that right here also. And you hit the Contact Dave page. Or there's a button at the top that says Contact Dave. I'm going to do this very easy. It's got a blue ink. And you're going to win... This and this, I will ship this to you in the continental United States, please. Continental United States. Just, just so I can put this in a simple envelope and ship both the pen and the supposed all-weather notebook to you. We're going to have it be the person who is the 11th email I receive the 11th email I receive and at the email subject line I want you to put if you're well if you're going to my website I don't believe there's a subject line to put in there but if you're just sending me an email through my email address it would be great if you put pocket tools so I can distinguish and I can count them and the 11th person is going to win this. And I think that's a pretty easy thing to do. These, um, like I said, you can find it at the old www.ttpockettools.com. 
If you'd like to just purchase one, he has a special going on on certain pens. Very nice guy. I couldn't believe he was this generous. I looked all over Amazon for something like this. And what was mandatory from everything I read is see how his screws out. And there's a little O-ring right there. And that makes it very secure. A lot of pens are like this. They had other pens that were like this. And it was just a slip in. And everybody who ever bought those said, oh, well, if you don't, if you don't uh, pay attention, you'll just lose it because the pen will fall out of the uh, top of the uh, top portion. So I looked further because this is everything that I was looking for. Quality, the Fisher Space Pen, uh, the, the uh, ink pen that's in there that writes upside down, writes in all the different kind of uh, moisture and things like that. So this is a quality product. I hope everybody will check it out. He's got other pens and other items, other little pocket tools that you can check out. He's on Facebook also. Looks like he's got a very active Facebook page. www.ttpockettools.com Please check him out. I would really recommend something like this for some EDC item for, I mean, anybody who's going to need to jot something down right away. So thanks for watching. Just another EDC item, and I think a very unique one. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed and am very gracious to ttpockettools.com for their donation. Here they are right here. There's a sticker from them. It's going on the official Wolf Den workbench. Right up here. See, here's what I'm doing. Here's my Popov leather. There you go. I just pulled this out of my back pocket. When we're going into the minimalist world, that's the size that I want. Now, that goes in my back pocket. That goes in my big black belt from my other video. The video description will be below where I talk about some my serious everyday carry items. And I just want to say thanks for watching. And there's other videos in the queue right now. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Don't forget, as everybody on YouTube says, don't forget to click that bell icon so you can get emailed uh, notifications of future uploads. Alrighty, folks. We have an amendment to this video. We have a product alert. Product alert at the Jetty Wolf Wolf Den. I happen to be at West Marine today. You know, I like going to the big West Marine store. I mean, we got like this humongous Marine, West Marine store here in Jacksonville. Not that I can afford anything there because the prices are through the roof. You know, we used to refer to it as MSRP Marine. You know, I'm an Amazon. And I'm an eBay dude. That's how I stay in business for 22 years. I happen to be breezing through there today. And what did I happen to come upon? That right there. A UTS waterproof notebook 3x5. Works in all weather. And I'm not super familiar with this company but I'm a, a you can say a bit familiar with this company it's a, a waterproof notebook forget soggy pages and bleeding ink brave the elements and long and log your discoveries with this waterproof notebook 3x5 waterproof 
uh, paper notebook, compact sizes, perfect for jackets and pockets, 50 pages of waterproof, tearproof paper, 5-inch ruler on the cover for quick measurements and all-weather pencil included. Well, there, well, yeah, there was a pencil in here, and then I, I pulled it out. It's a stupid little, I mean, it's a little tiny pencil, no big deal. I mean, don't get excited over the pencil by any means. It's this little golf cart, you know, <laughs> golf cart, you know, golf course little pencils. That's no biggie. But here is sort of the biggie. Yeah, look where it's made. Uh, the difference is, is the right in the rain, the one I talked about, is supposedly made in the United States. Um, I picked this up because I just happened to be breezing through there. And like I said, I'll still probably give the right in the rain a chance and probably check it out because this is a made in China product. And here's the, the, the whole deal is I've seen this company before, uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies, Jacksonville, Florida. www.ultimatesurvival.com And the reason I've seen this company before is because I've seen a guy who was highlighting all their products on his YouTube channel. That's interesting. I should have got with these people. I'm local, and I'd like to you know, feature this and maybe, you know, pass on some good vibes to my subscribers, but I was running out of time. You know, I can't go anywhere without bumping into people I know. Oh, here's the pencil. I saw it. It's on the other side of the workbench. There's the little pencil that you get. No big whoop. Okay. So, uh, I can't go anywhere. I ran into a subscriber today, and then I talked to him. I probably talked his ear off, and I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. He told me he's a subscriber. I told him all about doing this video, so I'm going to give a shout-out to him. Nice guy looking at some bullets at Academy Sports and Outdoors today, and I was just kind of breezing through there on my way to West Marine. Because I know Academy ain't going to have nothing like this. This is a little survival notebook. And of course, yeah, I just opened it right up in West Marine. Because why? I have the need to know. What is this truly made of? Alright, so there you go. It's got a plastic cover. All right, there's a little, now see those pages? Look it, they're kind of shiny. You know what this reminds me of? And it could be, and see that's the reason why I should have gotten in contact with this company. It reminds me of, you know the stuff that they, and anybody who's a house builder or carpenter out there that does any house stuff, You'll know what I'm talking about. This reminds me of, and I, the name is eluding me right now, but that house wrap, that stuff they do now. I mean, in the old days, they never did it, but now there's that wrap. I think they referred to it as a vapor barrier or an air barrier or something. I remember watching all about it when it first came out. It was the big to-do on this old house. But that's what this reminds me of. It's very, very thin. And I guarantee this, yeah, this is waterproof. There's no two bits about it. I don't have my little thing here because this is just an impromptu. But um, let's pull out the pen and let's do a little test. All right. So, pull out my TT pocket tools, and let's do a test. Yeah, and it writes really kind of slippery on there. Okay, 
Here we go. Oh, let's do the pencil. Just in case y'all are wondering about the pencil. Whoa. Wow, that's pretty wicked. That really uh, slides across there even with the pencil. Okay, here we go. Okay, kind of smudging out that pencil. See that? Now let's try the ink. Ooh, no smudging on the ink. Oh, I got to get some water. I got to go get some water. Well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> here's some water for you. This is what I drink constantly. I probably do damn near a 12-pack. And it doesn't matter. Screw the brand. Sparkling seltzer water. Zero calories, zero everything, non-flavored all it is is carbonated water, okay? I don't know if anybody knows, but um, this stuff is a serious, serious thirst quencher. Okay, there's water right on it, right on the paper. Well, the ink, the pencil's sort of going away, rubbing it. Now let's see about the ink. Whoa, the old space pen ink is staying on there pretty good. Okay. Oh, what was I writing on? Oh, okay, I thought I was writing on the inside of the cover. So that just adheres because it's wet. All right. Hey, there's a little bit of a test for you on this. And I believe this is probably a different material than right in the rain. Like I said, I used to have one years and years ago, and I believe it was a right in the rain product. Now, when I said right in the rain, I, I you know, I got all this all screwed up, okay? And like I said, I did this video a couple times because it, it just didn't turn out right. Okay, but there basically is you rub this on the pencil you can make the pencil go away. But you rub this on the ink, and that's a good old one of them blue Super Duty shop towels. Now that made it a little lighter, but it's still there. It's still there. Now, compared to this all-weather notebook from obviously China, from Ma Mail Den, Really, there is no comparison, but this is the one you're getting with your with your pen in the contest. I mean, this will do 90 probably percent of anybody. This will do. I really like the size of this, and this... Let's check it out here. See, they give a little... They give a little... Uh, ruler on the back and just you know they just have space to fill okay there you go same size this was about six bucks at msrp marine i would never pay that out outside of you know west marine i expect it from west marine but i went and i picked it up for the sheer fact that i did not want to leave anybody hanging I didn't want to leave this video hanging. This is going to do me a whole lot better. There might be room for future expansion of this video. I call them follow-ups. Thanks for watching.